Hey guys, what's happening? It's Johnny Glock here. Uh, this is crazy. You got it's like cameras like way up there. I'm trying to work out on some uh, some new angles on this stuff so uh, to make things easier for you guys to see. But I did put a um, a little blurb up on Instagram and Facebook that I was going to be shooting this video today. So I want to make sure I'm doing it. It's about connectors, uh, an aspect of the connector, and uh, I'm going to drop the camera right now and just get into it because uh, my time is limited today. So um, get up here on the step stool. Bring this down here, and voila. Okay, so let's hope this works out. Here's your connector. Now, the part that I'm talking about is this part right here, which is called the face of the ledge. All right, and what will happen is if you have issues there, even if you don't. Um, it's going to leave a demarcation like this has right here coming diagonally across that radius because these two parts if you actually look at your setup of the way it's done will end up looking like this if you can see that so then your reset stop drops in the, the trigger comes forward and your reset happens so I'm going to snap it like the reset would happen so um, you know basically this is what needs to be worked and if you look at how it goes into the and we'll have another video addressing kind of like the sweet spot of how you know you want this to how you want this not to be too far lateral or too far this way it'll jump the channel actually I'm gonna try to tighten this up a little bit and oh there we go my goodness okay so now we got it going on so this is the part that we're talking about let me get a tool here so I can point to it this is the part we're talking about this ledge right here and this is the part that I was talking about you can see the demarcation on that that looks like an angle right there this is how the reset is created like it's the it's the function of this snapping off of here snap that's reset click that's your reset click um it's a it's an intimate relationship between um the lateral play or the medial that's lateral medial means toward the middle right there if this is too far out you're going to probably sandwich it against the side of the gun if it's too far this way uh the bar this part is going to do what's called jump the connector which means it's just going to, as you pull back, this pressure is going to cause this to move over and you're not going to get it to drop. It's just going to go right back there. So, um, I'm going to pop this back out. And so what we're looking at here is, and you always have to remember, this is angled out. So anything that you're going to do with this, you have to have that as part of the consideration. It is just not sitting, it is not sitting like at a, at a straight, not, I'm gonna move my hand here, it's, it's not sitting at a straight 90 like that, okay? It's angled out, if you, if you know what I'm talking about. The space in between here and here makes it stick out that way. So when you're working this, it's sometimes better to work it on a um, housing. And what you're really trying to do, and I have you know, a bunch of different stones here, and I, I don't really do it too much with stones. I have 320, I have 400, I have 600, I have 800, all these different ones. This one's 2,500. But, you know, I would start with 320. And what you're trying to do is this could be a very, right here, this part right here is usually a very hard right angle. And what you're trying to do is just take a little bevel off of that. So if this is the, if this is the angle right here, I'm trying to find a good way of explaining this. Um, in this angle, if uh, there's really no good way, it's just going to have to be done. So basically, what I'm trying to do is when I stone this, I'm trying to, and I'll do it this way. I'm trying to come down like this. If I come this way, I'm gonna be creating really nothing. I'll just be putting that like, I'll be flattening that part down more. What I really wanna do is get this. So I'm taking just some material off the inside of this part right here. So if this is the part right here. I'm knocking down some of this edge. And then what that does, when you go to reset, 
it's taking once it gets here snap it snaps in really quick whereas you whereas right here you're sitting on a ledge now you're sitting on a bevel so it's going to want to snap in quicker so right now it's a ledge and then you take some material off and then it turns into a bevel and it's going to drop faster and you have to make sure that your angle is you know shucking as we should say or corresponding or the relationship is corresponding to how this is sitting in your gun all right so i mean connectors are cheap if you just get standard connectors that might be that might be what you want to start with and you know and for this and it's hard to see because i'm running flat i wish i could show this to you maybe maybe we could do it this way and i'm going to pull toward me so you can see yeah, even tighten it up a little bit more for you whoa All right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do with this technology. We are... Huh. Gotta love that Johnny Glock camera work, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, there's no real easy way to do this except to hold it down like this. And it wants to be steady, too. And you're, gonna, you're trying to come across this in a way where you're putting an, a bevel on this an, an angle. I mean, there's really no way to, you know, if I had a professional cameraman here, I could have them help me out. But I'm aiming down like this just to take the, and this is, what is this, a 320? It's a 320. I'm aiming down like that, or like that, should I say, to take material off of this like this and I just want to take the very edge of this off and then same thing you know you'd go to 400 and then you'd go to 600 and you can see the difference there how right you can see the demarcation or actually where it's getting shiny it's not shiny on top it's shiny underneath so you can see how I'm just really hitting this edge of the connector right there. I'm not hitting the top edge, I'm hitting the bottom edge. And if you successively, here's, a, here's another 600, if you successively bring that down, and I know this is jumping to 2500, which is a lot, but if you're successively bringing that down, where on here you either create a bevel or a little bit of a rounded angle, like I said, when, the, when it comes to reset, as the gun is resetting, and if those of you who run my triggers, you know once you even intend on letting off that trigger, once you get about here, boom, it pops forward. Now that's a combination of a bunch of different things, but this is one of the this is one of the things you have to do. So right about here, as it's coming forward, when it hits that bevel line, it drops in there very quickly. Whereas with this, and you can see the demarcation on it, it's actually being stalled. You can see it's cut right across there. Um, yeah, see that line right in there? That's a connector that actually is probably bent out too far and has a very hard ledge right there where you can see the shiny area where I've taken some material off. Uh, and then, you know, a good polish to this and voila, you have a connector that's tuned at least, you see, like I said, it, it's tuned to once you get it here, you can see it's going to, and I'll turn it that way, once it gets here, snap, it drops down in drops on in this will not take the snap away from the connector it's not gonna you know mess with the tactileness of it um, so if you mix that part up with um, the video I have on you know so weird to look up in the air <laughs> with the uh, sweet spot you know what I mean how to laterally bend that out then you're going to have like a um, a really a really cool relationship so you have the lateral sweet spot to medial lateral to medial and then the way the ledge of that is changed like this you're beveling it a little bit once it hits that area it's going to snap right down off it so like i said i'm working with camera angles to try to get this stuff a little bit better for you guys um 
I don't know if this was a step in the right direction or not. But anyway, uh, that's the video for today. I'm trying to keep it short. We're at, we're at like uh, nine to under 10 minutes. Okay, great. So Johnny Glock from johnnyglocks.com. Uh, the website should be hopefully up and running within, you know, a week or so here. I'm swamped. So um, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a great weekend. Take care.